You give the appearance of a statue. Statues are works of art. Art is beautiful. Art can be beautiful to gaze upon. You look ridiculous to the eye. Is there a point? You have not moved an inch in six hours. I am wearing Leonie's silk, encrusted with Indian sapphires, working with overlay of 200 year old lace. Apparently too much movement can cause sapphires to shred the lace. If that were not enough, the gown sits atop a bespoke underpinning made of whalebone. Whalebone? Yes, Father, whalebone. The bones of whales. Whales died so I could do it like this. All well, the finest corsets are made of whalebone. You would know that if you knew anything. You would also know that the issue with whalebone is that it is rather delicate and also very, very sharp. And because I am in the height of fashion, that corset is quite snug. So I give the appearance of a statue. Ridiculous, the eye. But that is because I cannot move. And because I must arrive on display. I am forced into a ludicrous gown, so stylish, that if I move too much, I might be sliced and stabbed to death by my undergarments. Oh, how joyful it is to be a lady. You are upset. It is a viable option I have considered. Moving, choosing to be killed by my undergarments. Charlotte! We have what? An hour to go. I'm sure if I'm diligent with my movements, I could most certainly bleed to death before we reach London. Like I said, you are upset. Emotional. I understand. Do you understand? Truly? Because I am not upset, nor am I emotional. I am angry, and I cannot breathe, and both are thanks to you, brother. You were chosen. This is a great honour. Oh, how difficult was it to be chosen? Someone who can make lots of babies, someone who can read, someone with all the social graces, someone with a royal bloodline. That is all they require. It is not an honour. You could have told them to choose someone else, someone stupid enough to want it. They did not want someone stupid. They wanted you. Adolphus, think. Why me? He could have anyone. Anyone. And yet he came hunting all the way across the continent for me. There has to be a reason for that. Because you are special. Special. I am a stranger to them. They are strangers to us. You cannot think me this ignorant. There has to be a reason why he wanted me a stranger, and it cannot be good reason. And I know it cannot be good reason because you have not looked me in the eye since you told me. Just... This is a good thing. You shall be happy. Turn the carriage around, I'm not doing this. I have signed a betrothal contract. You are doing this. No. Yes. Brother, turn the carriage around or I will bounce. I will bounce and I will impale myself on this ridiculous corset and bleed to death. Charlotte, I know I should have taken a firmer hand with you when Mama and Papa died. I allowed you to read too many books and I indulge in your every whim and frivolity. For that, I take full responsibility that you are now mistakenly headstrong and think that you can make decisions. You cannot. I am in charge. This is happening. I don't understand why. Because they are the British Empire and we are a tiny province in Germany. We had no choice. I had no choice. There may not be a good reason. In fact, the reason might be terrible. But I cannot question because I cannot make an enemy of the 
greatest empire on earth. It is done. Now, do your duty for our country and be happy. Liebchen, there are far worse fates than marrying the King of England.